Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another fantastic, fun, exciting, intense, amaze video game cast. Uh, this is game number uh, 13 of the Mavwar tournament. And tonight we have Team Green Bubble Tea facing off against Team Fat Kids. And tonight is going to be a very critical game because this is the first game of the knockout stage. And whichever team wins tonight will be heading to the final game of Rooney. Um, against another team for all of the monies and boomer plushies. So it is critical for one of these teams to come out on top and win. So I am going to do uh, the lowdown currently for the infected team. Uh, currently, Team Fat Kids, we have uh, Beyonce, a.k.a. Sense Mattress, LB, uh, Excuse Me Princess, and Box. Uh, and today I have casting with me Dragon. Uh, if you go ahead and do the Survivor Rundown. Thank you, sir. Well, we have uh, four green bubble team: Ahab, Lucky Dog, Thirty Two, Zena, and Meow Meow. And our wonderful, wonderful cameraman today is good old X by the inventor of exploits. Pick him up at a store near you. Um, and we're gonna get this game going right away because we're actually pretty late at this point. So we want to get this game popping like it's hot. So um, we're going to go ahead and start readying up and hopefully these guys do as well. But um, all of us here are super pumped for this game on hard rain. This should be a very, very good game because both of these teams want to make it to that final round. Absolutely. This could be a much anticipated semi-final for this tournament. Um, there's actually two. Um, these two teams could well be evenly matched. Um, according to Punisher, he knows all of these players pretty well. He expects Fat Kids to have a pretty strong lineup, but of course, um, Green Bubble T is being led by uh, Lucky Dog 32, very experienced player in the TFPG ranks. And we are going live, Gala. Yes, let me get my spec HUD. We have a Smoker, Charger, Boomer, Jockey. No spitter to be afraid of, but if they're not careful, there might be a spooky, spooky death charge. So if they play their cards right, hopefully they can avoid some serious kill damage points here. We've got a Jockey spotted up as well as a Boomer and a Charger. The Boom goes for it. Gets a single Boom onto Coach, but there's a Survivor in the back. No, she runs underneath. Rochelle almost in a dangerous situation. Here comes the rest of the SIN. Charger charges a tree, almost knocks it over. Here comes a Boom slashing a Smoke Survivor. Rochelle gets Proxy Boom, and the Smoker is sure to die next. And he does a little bit of damage, but nothing serious coming out on a team green bubble tea. Wow, Lucky Dog was fierce there. He was just getting in the face of every SI that came his way. Like, first he tackled a jockey on his own, dead stopping him and just melling him in the face and then taking off the smoker and the boomer as well. Wow, impressive work. Lucky Dog has proved to be a very valuable asset to this team in this tournament. He's been uh, voted as an MVP prior. Um, and now we've got another choke point here. It looks like a hunter's already starting to come in. And here comes a jockey and a charger as well. Oh no, there's a charge going out onto Coach, but there is no spit. So we're going to see a little bit of, oh, quite a bit of damage. Wow. This charge not getting cleared right away onto Coach, and he took a ton of damage. You would not typically expect to see that much damage unless there was a spit, but he got a ton of damage right there, Dragon. And did he? He had two survivors trying to clear him, and it still wasn't fast enough. He was still landing the pounds, surprisingly. And um, Coach was really not that confident with the melee or gun, so much so she had the melee weapon out, trying to <laughs> fiercely dead stop the jockey <laughs> and the hunter. But to no yeah, avail. I think those common infected were making it a little bit difficult for that clear. I, th I can only assume that is why there was not a quick clear. But we do have a tank up right now in the hands of Box. Fat Box. A very, very large box. Throwing some rocks right now. They're going to probably play a rock tank on this first pass. He's still got plenty of rage. Here comes the smoke on to Coach, but no, the hunter lands on Coach as well. This charger is going to try to come in too. He is up behind, but right now he is str he's hesitating. Here he comes now, but he's going to get focus fired. He's oh. gonna, he charges down below, actually. <laughs> He's still alive, but he can't have much HP right now. He got chipped pretty well, and this tank is going to continue to throw rocks for a little while. Reload. Oh, he pulled Rochelle, though, but next to the car. He did manage to clear it. I'm a reload. So yeah. they avoid the car there, but uh, yeah, that charge is still at the back and can't actually get a decent one. Reloading. Oh, no. Eric comes right now to sacrifice himself um, and finally does die. We do have a jockey. So this tank is still continuing to, to, to try to last out on its first pass to get some more rocks. we got several cars in play, so this tank is going to be ready to commit with these cars when it is ready. But if you look right now, oh, Ooh, finally lands a rock. But if you look at the tank's HP, the tank has already taken a third it's, of its HP it's just trying dwindling. to put rocks. It is that seriously is dwindling. And still, look at that chip. It's just going down by the hundreds. 
almost completely 50% uh, HP remaining here, but there is a double cap with Boko at the front. Jockey as well, trying to get the card off. Almost tagged with a shell there. So, so close to her being in cap, but now they're having to look you know, it inside the Burger Tang Diner itself. Tank has now got higher ground with the car for um, defense if he needs it. Yeah, and this is looking pretty run. grim right now for the tank. The tank's already taken 50% damage at least. Uh, currently down to 48% HP and has only landed a single rock. So this tank is going to need a miracle hittable or something miraculous to, to pull off some serious damage right now. And the survivors are pushing forward. There's a oh. good charge going off onto Nick in the back. Can the tank get up here to cover it? A nice single boom onto Rochelle. And the tank is pushing in. This is what the tank needs, but it needs to be careful. Not much HP and these melee weapons are going to make short work of it. Needs to turn around right now. Rochelle is slashing up into the tank and finally turns around to punch Rochelle. But before the tank even realized it, already took infinity million damage from those melee weapons. Well, yeah, that was uh, that was a very interesting play from both sides. The tank actually was struggling to, to play a, a very uh, acute rock tank there. But when the survivors decided to see the opportunity to go and push forward, they kind of timed it completely wrong by trying to go through that... Uh, trailer choke point with a hit up and suffering a double cap at the back as well and then they had to do with a sloppy finish trying to melee the tank the burger was deaf jockey that gets a sneaky scratch on coach and goes down charger coming in another hit in the same area with a oh on my god that's a, a triple cap, cap. It's a one. that is it no way i could not believe my eyes a jockey came in got a sneaky scratch on a coach getting the end cap and then three cappers capitalized on the last remaining survivors what an impressive play after that tank! Wow, like, they probably wanted that wipe so badly with a tank getting gears said, No, we're not going down without a fight, we'll get a tri-cap in the next area, and they did so. That was an amazing play by uh, Team Fat Kids. I, I cannot believe what I just saw. After, you know, they made good damage with that tank, even though it took a lot of damage early on. The survivors pushed forward. The tank capitalized with its SI and got some good damage, but I did not expect to see a full-on wipe with that hit. That was a great coordination. And you know what? You got to chalk it up to the jockey for actually managing to land that initial scratch on coach, staying alive, and getting the triple cap with his com comrades. Like, that was that was seriously really good work by the infected. Yeah, I I can only imagine that no one on um, the green team, uh, was it, uh, Green Bubble Tea, actually likes trailers in real life. Probably hates them. <laughs> Every single one of them after that lunch. <laughs> Yeah, and we see the survivors right now pushing down underneath. Not a strategy you typically see. Um, so if they're not careful, this could be a lot of damage. There is no spit, so it might not be too bad. But there's a charge coming out on Rochelle, a jockey landing on a coach. And here comes the smoker, but misses. Melee weapons are going to make short work of the SI, but uh, Beyonce, a.k.a. Rochelle, did take a good uh, amount of damage. So they need to push forward right away right now, get this tank spun up, and then put themselves in a good position to fight this tank. Yeah, a lot of damage on Sens, but um, it was a very unorthodox approach, actually. It's not often that you see teams push right down the middle on the uh, ground floor, uh, straight into the diner area. They usually like to make sure that nothing too bad happens with Spit, and also try and avoid the death charges. So yeah, it's unusual to see, but I mean, hey, it's refreshing at least. Yeah, it's different. It's not too bad. I think if they had a spitter, that would have been a very bad situation for them, but they only had the boomer with the three cap. So it's not the worst decision in the world, but it's definitely different. Uh, we see a boom landing on Nick right here. Very sneaky boom hiding by this trailer. This trailer is just dangerous for everybody, but the survivors are going to chill back. They're going to wait for the common infected and wait for the SI, but the SI look like they do not want to commit on the survivors until they try to cross over. So we do see a pause coming out, and I do like that the infected did wait. Um, if they play their cards right, they can get some good separation on this trailer and hopefully maybe pull or charge somebody to a car and allow this tank to commit and possibly get an, uh, an immediate in cap with a car. Um, so if, if they're able to play their cards right, this might be uh, a, an early wipe for Green Bubble Tea as well. Yeah, well, they desperately need a wipe here, actually, because this is actually, it's a fairly simple, straightforward map for the survivors, at least. If they actually make it past the tank... I mean, the rest of a stretch home should be simple, but as we saw in the last Survivor round, um, Team uh, Fact, sorry, Team Green Bubble Team didn't actually have it all their way. <laughs> God, even though Survivor Tank, they got wiped at the trailer at the next couple of attacks. So it could still happen. Anything could happen here. Yeah, definitely. And we got to pull forward. The tank is now spawned. The smoke gets cleared right away. We do have a charge coming out, but it does miss. It tried to get the pounce target. Coach got pounced right before the charge came in. We do have a guy separated. Oh, the car hit. It almost hit Nick. 
but he got out of there just in time. The car did go over, so if the tank gets in there, he might be able to hit a lucky car hit and incapacitate a survivor. Here it comes. It's flying. It's flying. No, it's out of play-ish. It didn't manage to incap any survivors, so the survivors are going to play back. Uh, the tank is going to do the usual uh, rock tank until second pass, I assume, um, unless they can land a really good boom, maybe. Um, so the survivors are looking very good right now, so the infected team, Green Bubble Tea, have a oh. lot of work cut out for them. We do see a double boom going out on a su two survivors, and the tank is positioning himself on a roof to the side to get some rocks. This is a good spot to play rock tank, and if they do better than the other team, they should avoid a lot of chip early on. Yeah, this tank approach is interesting. I mean, Zayna isn't actually depending on the cars, even though she's positioned one from far back, but she's opting to sort of like keep line of sight first and foremost now coming in uh with options of cars right there trying to spin that one viciously almost got there for one for the tree in the way and she's got one position behind the survivors she could actually pressure them pretty badly here and get them closer to the si spawns she could do some real work but she's losing health rapidly she needs assistance she's getting slowed down dramatically Oh, oh no, this is not looking good for the tank. The tank is already almost completely dead, and the SI are not able to help the tank very much. It was looking promising at first while the tank was trying to push in with the car, but everything did not happen the way they wanted it. So this tank is retreating right now. I assume to send it AI, but um, if you look at the health bars right now, the survivors, they are sitting extremely well. So this tank is not looking like it's going to do anything. We've actually got a survivor pressuring the tank right now, almost killing it. It's only got 108 HP right now, so really did not go very well for green bubble tea the fat kids uh you know gave them a run for their money that tank committed but was not able to land any punches whatsoever yeah that was unfortunate i mean it looked it looked like uh the tank on the si knew what they wanted to do and they wanted to go in straight away aggressive um when the survivors started backing up into that area but a uh, tank really could not capitalize it i mean that's the first thing you need to do as si is make sure the tank actually corners someone and she just Hunter wasn't able to. He's getting slowed down a lot and couldn't really catch up. Yeah, and I think they would have been in better uh, position if they possibly had a boomer. There would have been a really good boom spot on that building above where the survivors were at. That could have slowed them down with the comments, but unfortunately they had a triple cap and nothing was able to work in the tank's favor. The, the SI came in a little bit, but the tank couldn't land any punches, so it didn't really matter. The AI tank just killed itself. <laughs> the AI tank punched a car and the car ricocheted and killed the tank. So the AI tank just putting himself out of misery, not oh, even man. wanting to commit on these survivors. Didn't want to suffer the brutal uh, fatality that they would have committed to it. So the survivors are sitting super good right now, about to push through this choke point on this trailer. But the SI is ready. Wow. Everything is pushing in right now. The charge lands on Coach, getting a good separation charge way forward, and a good pounce getting cleared right away onto Ellis. But this charge is doing a ton of damage to Coach. They need to get a clear right away. Fortunately for the survivors, that was not health bonus, but they're going to have to give pills to Coach now so he can move along quickly. Survivors were actually pretty lucky there. That was a momentary tri cap, and the majority of that damage actually went on the tampon of the team, which is coach. But they've triggered a witch with a smoker up, but the smoker's too far away for his tongue to reach. And uh, for some reason, the witch is slashing something way too early. <laughs> gets to the ground, and the Witches smoker gets are just well. unreliable most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, uh, you know, short of some miracle, um, a great two boom coming out. The SI coming in, but not a whole lot. Only two SI, a spit landing, and a jockey actually Whoa. doing a lot of damage to Rochelle. I did, I did not expect it. I was going to say, short of a miracle, I don't think the fat kids are going to get wiped by green bubble tea. Um, they've got plenty of health to work through, and only so few many choke points left. So I, I think it's they're going to be able to make it, uh, I'm thinking right now. I would have loved it if a jockey was actually physically capable of escorting Rochelle into the back of the ambulance. But we have a smoker at the front and a charger getting leveled um, by uh, Trice, I think it was, playing with Nick. And the spinner couldn't do actually much damage there. And we still got Zayna, who's got her boomer, going at the back, landing a boom actually on box. Yeah, that'll be a momentary uh, distraction for the survivors, but they are going to move forward, and chances are they're only going to see one more SI hit. 
unless there's some kind of in cap or something marvelous. Um, so the the survivors need to push forward right now. They only want to give the SI one more attack because they want to make it into the safe room with as much HP as possible. Right now we see a jocker hunter and a, jo a jocker, a jockey hunter and a charger coming onto the board with a spitter. This could be a good amount of damage if they coordinate effectively. They might be able to pull off some last second damage onto the survivors. Um, a hunter is pre-spawned in front of this white vehicle here, pouncing around, trying to distract you. No, gets skeeted, but a jockey does land on the coach. A charge does land on the Ellis. This is going to be a slight 2-2. Two -two. A lot of damage going out. Very good work. Last second damage, but uh, Nick still maintaining quite a bit of health bonus. So <laughs> the scoreboard right now is reading. Okay, there it goes. It fixed itself. It's 604 points to 101. Team Fat Gids uh, pulling ahead in the lead against Green Bubble Tea coming from map one. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's pretty. It's a solid lead to go for for um, fat kids. So they've done they've done well enough to do that. Um, felt like the survivor play after the tank could have been a little bit more consistent from them, but nevertheless, they made the save from the god the bonus. That's the important thing. It's it's a reasonable lead to be going on. Yeah, they gotta at least be happy with that. Going into the second map with 500 points against the team like Green Bubble Tea is is nothing to to flinch at. That is a good. Uh, amount of points to set yourself up into map two uh, at the beginning of this tournament. They just need to maintain that lead if they want to win. But, uh, you know, previously in this tournament, Green Bubble Tea has proved to be a very strong team. So I am I'm hoping and imagining that Green Bubble Tea is going to come back with a vengeance on this map. And I need to make a quick BRB. So X5, if you would unready. Okay, one sec. All right, well, that has always gone uh, to do whatever he needs to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I my predictions for this actually, uh, well, I'm, for one, I'm hoping Green Bubble Tea can actually make a comeback and start making the score level, because no matter what happens, I mean, I'm not particularly rooting for one team or the other, but I, for one, want to see a close as match as possible, as close as it can be, just for the sake of the viewing spectacle and for you guys watching, of course. I mean, if it's, if it's a close game, it's the best type of game. And while so we're getting ready up, let's see what they got for the SI. We have uh, Zeno as a boomer, we got Miami as a hunter, Lucky Dog 32 is the charger, and what else have they got? They got a smoker, and that'll be Ahab. So this is a uh, an attack with a boomer. There's no spitter, right? I can't see the speck of... No spitter, no. It's a smoker. All right, so we're going to... We're not going to see a super early hit in the tight... Uh hallways of this building they don't have a spitter so they want to use this boomer as well as they possibly can so they're going to wait for the survivors to push out and try to land a boom and get some separation get some early damage uh prior to tank so tank's going to spawn at 46 percent i'm not exactly sure where that's going to be it's going to be very close to midway through the map because midway through the map would be 50 percent this is 46 percent so that is a little bit between midway of the map if i had to guess i think that'll be probably just before they enter like the sort of middle area of the um the actual mill like you know that one that has a ramp and then you have a drop i think it'll yeah. be just before that gotcha so we might see the team play right before that ramp or possibly back in the corner before that okay And we're just so, waiting for Lucky Dog 32 to ready up. Yeah. And what he does, and we'll be getting right on away. He's probably discussing last second tactics, knowing that his team's 500 points behind. And they really yeah. do need to claw back that deficit sometime soon. Yeah, they're going to want to definitely get a wipe on this map. That is the quickest way they can make, make some points back. Uh, we got the ready up coming out, so we got the survivors. They're going to push out here. They need to be careful of this infected hit from the roof. They do have a boomer, so they should expect some separation with a boom. Um, so they're going to they're going to bait this very carefully, clear these commons out, and oh, it looks like we got a hunter going up, trying to get a DP, but he is being chipped. Great work being chipped. They knocked the hunter down. The hunter is trying to go up to the top of the silo, but it was chipped, and they're going to continue to probably try to trip this hunter as it's going up. Um, the hunter might have wanted to try to get up oh. there from a different spot. Oh, a little bit of damage. Still plenty of HP to get in there, but it looks like the hunter is going to decide to to not go for that DP because the survivors are waiting for it to go up. They're trying to chip the balls out of it. Um, so that's okay. You don't necessarily want to go for a DP. You just want to get in there and uh, land coordinated with your, your SI and get a good hit. Survivors are pushing out. Here comes the hit. we got to pull on to Nick. The Charger and the hunter are coming in. The Charger's trying to get some punches on to Nick. Actually charges him because he gets cleared by the smoker. This is going to be a good amount of damage on to Nick because the survivors were on the other side 
side of this area. Reloading. Nick took close to 50% damage. That was a good amount of damage without a spit, but the boom did not land, so it could have been much more. Yeah, and because the hunter sort of gave away the game like early on, um, almost caught a pounce, but ate a last second dead stop to the face before it could land the pounce. So, I mean, that could have easily been a try cap had the um, the SI just been a little bit more discreet at the beginning. But um, I mean, the damage of the charger is still good enough for the first attack. We do have a smoker though, the back pulling Rochelle with a spitter waiting to pit, but oh, Rochelle's already free, and the other SI aren't actually up yet. Actually, the charger is still around. It's meow meow. Fairly yeah, it looks stuff. like they tried to rush in that attack a little too quick. Not all of the spawns are ready. We still have a charger just lurking around. Going to wait for their other spawns right now. The, this infected team, Green Bubble Team, needs to start landing these booms. That is two bo two attacks with two booms that have not been successful. They need to, to play these booms uh, to their advantage if they want to get serious damage on these guys. Because this is a strong team and you need to land booms and charge spit. Absolutely, and I think we're actually getting pretty close to the 46% mark. I mean, I've not actually checked the current um, distance, but we got a charger getting a stumble, actually, but not a charge. I'm to briefly Rochelle. We had a smoke on Nick at the front. Uh, tries taking more damage um, for the team. He's pretty much going to be the tampon if he keeps on going the way he's going right now, but yeah, yeah. there is a tank. Yeah, he's definitely the designated tampon for the team. We got the tank up in the hands of Meow Meow. We might see some spooky, scary Meow Mix rock. Let's find out as the tank decides to put itself into a certain position, climbing up. Probably going to go over to this window here. It's a good place to be spooky from. Uh, actually, no, it's going uh, from a different direction than I would expect. Um, maybe doesn't know about the window or maybe just wants to be up in this window instead at the silos, actually, for some rocks. That's not a bad decision either. Um, so we're going to see a good little rock tank right now, but this infected team needs to step up their game. These uh, attacks need to be synchronized. They need to land at the same time, and they need to be effective. So we got a smoker coming out by himself with a wow. charge, trying to get somebody by the trees. A lot of punches coming from this charger. That's four punches. Almost five punches from that charger. B uh, d demolishing Nick. Nick, the tampon for the fat kids, taking a ton of damage from charger punches alone. That is uh, four punches, so that's a lot of damage but nothing else quite landing. Um, the, the infected team needs to continue this. Uh, the tank is still on first pass, but is losing frustration quickly. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a great uh, support attack, actually, despite the fact that Charger didn't land, but was getting fists for plenty. Um, the tank, though, really needed to capitalize on the distraction. They have three survivors in that corner. We have a smoker coming up, actually, and Hunter trying to go. Oh, Hunter, they all went for box. They all tried <laughs> going for the same survivor, and that didn't really pan out. Especially when the tank is now 60% frustration on second pass, no support up. Oh dear. This is not yeah, one thing I did notice is that tank threw that rock way before the SI actually committed, so they could have done a better job of synchronizing that. Um, but So the tank is going to have to commit here in a second. It's almost up. Uh, second frustration is almost completely up. So the tank is moving in now. We've got two separated survivors. This might not be good for the survivors. They're putting themselves in an uncomfortable position. But no, Meow Meow is not able to land punches on Nick. Finally gets a hit, but knocks him so far away. She's not going to be able to get somebody else. We've got a good jockey going on to Coach, but it gets cleared pretty quick. We're going to see a good corner on to Coach, I believe. No, Coach gets punched way away. But another punch comes out onto Ellis. This is actually going to be corner onto Ellis now. Needs to focus these punches. Needs to get Ellis down. And that is the end cap. Maybe one more punch coming out. No oh. swings, misses, and is killed. All said and done, that tank actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It actually got a great result there by cornering and incapping Box. The thing was, though, was that the Hunter had a great opportunity to intercept Box, uh, Ellis, and allow the jockey to carry on going on Nick. But had that been the case, the tank could have been free to basically get the other two whilst there was a double cap the other side. Yeah, it, it could have been better. The tank could have landed more hits. It whiffed on three initially. Uh, the SI could have landed a bit more coordinated, but they did manage to get a decent amount of damage. Um, they need to continue this up, though. Here comes the attack. The jockey going in by itself gets slayed instantly. And we've got a spitter and a smoker running for dear life. The smoker's not running anymore, it's just trying to die. <laughs> the spinner's almost got no health and the smoker gets really? slayed. Um, <laughs> okay, that hit <laughs> was something different. Um, I don't I don't know what to, uh, but I, okay, okay, a charge and a spin's coming. Oh, a good oh. charge lands, but the spit doesn't quite get into it. No, charge is uh, actually yeah, the spit, and it's gonna take a good amount of damage. I don't know what the heck happened before they dropped but they managed to get a good charge spit, which they needed after that previous attack where 2SI tried to run for dear life. 
Yeah, I, c I still can't understand that smoker though. I mean, not even speed climbing out of that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly crawling up and then eventually getting picked off, but yeah. But there's still a great attack after from that uh, drop on the ramp. And there is a hunter coming behind and a charger at the front. Our charger gets cleared quickly, but then there is a two and a half cab with a double cab landing off the charger and a quad boom going out as well. Oh, beautiful quad boom. They needed that to slow down the survivors. And we still see a jockey. No, it finally gets killed by a melee weapon. The jockey was trying to get some scratches. Um, the survivors still taking a good amount of damage from these really strange and bizarre attacks. Um, that attack was pretty decent. We had three cappers move in and they landed almost in complete sync. But they're going to need to continue to do more damage. The survivors still have plenty of health to make it to the safe. They still got the health, yeah, but there's three bleeding, only one spare set of pills. Um, how they handle the holdout event and then the cane field. But cane field, by the way, has a 90% witch, which is something we haven't actually Oh, that considered. might be very so, devastating for them. Yeah. So that, the field is a very good opportunity for the infected to get a serious wipe because there's all the opportunity in the world to get separation and it makes it much more difficult for survivors to clear anybody with all of the stuff in the way. Uh, I used to call it corn, but it's sugarcane. I still am going to call it corn because I like corn better. Um, right now, the survivors have no pills left. Uh, we got this pause going out, so... It's it because like... um, Lucky Dog has crashed and he was actually in possession of the charger before he crashed. So that's oh, going to be a real that attack. Is that is no bueno. They needed that charge to get at least a charge spit here. I mean, even if you can't get a charge off the edge, you still have the charge spit opportunity, which is a ton of damage. And the ready up is coming out. Let's see what happens. Is that even going to be an AR charge? Nope, he didn't spawn up. So they're going to have to wait on Lucky Dog spawn right now. But these survivors are going to push up anyway. A good proxy boom and a pull going on to Nick, but nothing's going to happen from it. That Smoker wasn't in a position to get a ledge hang. He does get a pull again on Nick, but no, Nick gets the headshot and kills the Smoker. So the survivors are going to activate this small little event with no problems. All the health bonus remaining onto Rochelle. Um, if I were the infected right now, I would focus everything on Beyonce. Well, absolutely. I mean, well... Beyonce is certainly the more alluring target of a lot there. Yep, and let's see where Rochelle's at. Rochelle is in the middle. Wise choice, hiding the health bonus. Um, a bunch of comments coming in. These infected are ready to come. Oh, and they didn't block a spawn. Here comes a charge of spit. A hunter lands onto Rochelle. Here comes a spit onto Rochelle as well. That is going to be a lot of damage to health bonus. There goes that health bonus. Bye-bye health bonus. And Nick and Coach also taking a little bit of damage. So we've got three slow survivors right now. Ellis, the only survivor that's able to run instead of limp. Uh, only running on temp health, so they are going to bleed out even more before they get down to the sugarcane field. Um, and this is going to be actually very possible for the infected team to get a wipe here, especially since there's going to be a witch as well. I would be amazed if it wasn't a wipe that this game failed. I mean, I, even without the witch, I think they would still be wiped. But um, we got to see what happens. I mean, Box is really the only one who can probably like keep him sustained through the game field as well as actually, well, now try some. Um, Brilliant Princess, now that they've been in-capped and got back up on their feet with a bit more temporary health. It could be possible, but we've got to wait and see. Yeah, this is, this is the, the last opportunity for the infected before they can make it to the safe room. But this is a great opportunity. We've got a spooky, spooky cane field. A, sm a, a witch. Where is this witch at? This witch is... There she is. Oh my her. goodness, that is going to be spooky. If these survivors are not careful right now, this is going to be extremely dangerous. She's in a devious position. I wonder if the survivors are actually able to see her. Um, actually, from their view, it's very difficult to see her. Oh, no. She's in a well-concealed position. <laughs> Just gonna yeah, we got not... a smoker already going out. I do not agree with this move. I don't know what this smoker was doing. Uh, no SI oh, were even triggered. close to the smoker. Um, and the, the witch actually gets an in cap on the fat. And there is the in cap. But we don't have a smoker right now. I mean, we've gotten two in caps, but they already lost one SI. Here comes the charger. Wow. Trying to get punches on Ellis but gets killed by a guitar. No way he stood a chance. Oh my goodness, they, they still have an opportunity to wipe him because they should have spawns up, but that smoker went in way too soon. Yeah, the charger actually tried going in from behind to get some uh, fist rearwards, but um, it didn't really work out for him because the survivors were anticipating it and got the melee out just in time. 
So I wonder whether we probably should have actually tried getting a double charge rather than just trying to fist them one by one. I think that would have been better and it would have been good separation too. We've got a proxy boom coming on to Ellis. This is the last chance the effect can have to get a, an in cap on a coach. They get a jockey on Nick outside. This could be an in cap as well. There's a hunter prancer on inside. Lands on Rochelle. That could be another in cap. This is not good for the survivors. We do have Box, aka Ellis. No! no! Gets a pull on him. No! Oh, no! Oh, this is the jockey, jockey for the cover. No way! <laughs> That was a wipe right at safe room. You've got to be kidding me. I cannot believe what I just saw. Oh, it absolutely was a safe wipe for the safe room. I thought Nick was just, you know, safe and clean home, but you know, she decided to go back out, see if she could rescue her two comrades, and to be honest, I think Bosch should just stay in there. Yeah, he got ganged up on by a smoker and a jockey. He did get the M2 on the smoker as he pulled him, but then the jockey came in for the cleanup kill and ultimately got the wipe. You know, that was a great wipe at the safe room, but unfortunately, the, the Team Fat Kids got 1,200 points from that. I mean, well, a 1,200 total. So that's still a very high score. So right now, there is a 1,100-point uh, deficit. Green Bubble Tea has a lot of work here on this map. They need to defeat this tank and make it into the safe room with a halfway decent health bonus to, to keep this uh, under an 1,000-point game. If they want to match their um, Packers score going into map 3, they need about 500 bonus from this map. And that's nothing to sniff at. Um, that's going to be quite a cool tall order to get. I mean, it's usually something you would expect of um, mid to high level teams sort of getting on this map. But uh, I mean, map 4 tournament isn't quite that sort of like top tier ultimate pro sort of tournament. It's more sort of like a laid back one. It's more of a, a sort of friends um, just having fun throughout right. the tournament. And so, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be wicked to see if it's if they can actually pull it off. And I'm hoping they can for the sake of the spectacle here and them keeping a close game. Yeah, and Green Bubble Tea is the team to do that. They've played a strong tournament so far, so they need to focus those M2s and those headshots, and they need to defeat uh, the fat kids on this map. So we've got a boom with this hit. A smoker's already spawned on this car ahead, wanting to get this pull, but I think that was a little too early. They might be able to pick the smoker if they're not careful. Um, but the infected, they're going to spawn in this room. The survivors are not blocking the spawns in this room. We've already got a hunter spawned up. And here he comes with the charge. This is going to be a two cap possibly. No, Whoa. no, the charge and the hunter go for the same target. Now we've got a ton of punches coming out from the charger. Not a whole lot. And the boom is going to drop in at the last. It looks like they wanted to kill that boom last. An amazing three boom with that proxy. Um, but, you know, that, that smoker spawned a little early, was not able to do very much with it. And, I, you know, I think they should have waited just a little bit longer before they pre-spawned that smoker. Yeah, I mean, it was a very weird attack, actually, because it was great that they managed to get the Charger and the Hunter behind, but the fact that the Charger caused a stumble and they kind of screwed up the smoker as well. So it was a kind of a really disorganized attack. But, um, I mean, the damage was actually almost matching Green Bubble Tea's attack. The Titans is going in game dead, so we've got a boom on Rochelle at the front. Charger stumbling again, but there's a spit in the corner on Rochelle, and she is stuck. Oh, no! So the low damage and goes no. down. Oh no, Rochelle, the spit spit on the ground underneath Rochelle. The charge came in, got a chest bump, was not able to land the charge, but then punched and distracted Rochelle enough to keep her in that spit, as well as the comments holding her in there. That was a great end cap onto Meow Meow Rochelle. That is what the infected needed, but that is definitely not what Green, B Green Bubble Tea wanted on this map. Yeah, well, oh, there's a smoker at the back, and Zayna wasn't expecting it. She'd been pulled, there's a double boom at the front. And Lucky Dog's coming back to rescue. There's still a, I think it's a hunter still at the front. Yeah, it lands a pounce, as well as a spit. Oh, Green Bubble Tea are just soaking up all the attacks at the moment. Yeah, they're they... eating every hit. They're eating every single boom. That was a good two boom. They are extremely lucky that Hunter was not ready to cover that smoke or else that would have been a two cap with two boomed and that would have been a serious amount of damage. I'm actually surprised that they sort of made it past that area without sustaining a lot more damage than they already have because it could have easily gone horribly horribly wrong yeah if that hunter would have been there and prepared to cover that smoker i think that would have been two in caps because i don't think those boom survivors would have been able to get there in time to get that clear so they made it out barely but they've already taken a ton of damage we've got a smoker coming out getting cleared instantly a charge coming out for more punches then gets a charge onto nick with a jockey coming in landing on ellis the boom coming in to distract trying to oh, get 
a triple Bugs burn. Distracting enough, this jockey is going forward on Ellis, getting a ton of damage. If these survivors do not clear Ellis quickly, that might tank be a I think Tank is spotted right there. He could run in and do this. He could oh steal the no, deal. this tank could commit right now. There are common lock survivors, and Ellis is about to be in cap. He is in cap, and the jockey's going to escape. The tank is going to push in right now. There are, oh no, there's an in cap on the Rochelle now. There's only two survivors up, and the tank is fully committed and is getting a punch on Nick. That is going to be at a corner on Nick. Dude, oh my god, that is that is a wipe. That is a wipe on Green Bubble Team. Zane is up, but she can't really do anything on her own with three. Yes, <laughs> that's a small berry down on her. Charger and Smoker going at the same time. Charger has got their first. I, I just do not believe the plays that I am seeing coming from Fat Kids right now. They are making some serious game changing plays from the triple cap on map one to what we just saw now. That jockey got a survivor separated for days way ahead of his teammates and they were triple boom so they were common locks so they could not get the clear the tank committed and got the wipe these these are devastating plays by the fat kids green bubble tea is just getting slaughtered right now uh yeah i'm i'm struggling to see how uh t green bubble tea can actually come up with an answer to the way fat kids are just being yelling together as a team as a unit um that play for the tanky and trigger was exceptional the triple boom first getting the distraction by the charger and i believe it was probably the hunter and then getting the triple boom with the jockey up front which then triggered the tank and just allowing the tank to run straight in to complete the deal and by the way i mean well you can't really say anything else other than the fact is really do deserve their current lead at the moment of almost 900 points yeah, the Fat Kids are definitely uh, proving to be a very tough competition for Green Bubble Tea. They have brought their A game tonight. They have must they must have loaded up on carbs before this game. They must have went to Olive Garden or something and just ate a ton of breadsticks because these guys are pumped. They are absolutely pumped, and they are just pulling out all of the stops in this match so far. If they continue on like they have on map one and map two, I think they're going to come out on top on this game because the fat kids are just, they, oh, they're just so fat. I mean, when they come in for an attack, they can't even see the sun, they're so big. So there's no way the green bubble tea stands a chance of stopping these SI hits because they weigh so much. They should have like fat tank skins rather than just a muscular red one. Like, <laughs> their, is, is that their, their, their characters the or their models should be way bigger. Um, <laughs> the infected team, Green Bubble Team, has a smoker, boomer, jockey charger. No spitter whatsoever, but they need to land this boom and get some good separation. A boom drops in, gets a boom under a shell. Here comes the SI, good jockey on to Ellis. Will it get cleared? A pull coming out under the boom survivor and a charge charging forward, but getting stopped by this car. A good amount of chip coming out, but no serious amounts of separation. Um, Beyonce, the only one taking a real amount of damage from that hit because of that charger, but now they're going to be able to push forward, hopefully before the SI get another hit up. Yeah, it was actually an interesting decision for the SI to hit there because they had a pretty solid separation lineup, um, but chose not to go in the cane field with it. So that's surprising, but nevertheless, he still got good damage. It was a great intention by the Charger, just unfortunately that pickup truck was right in the way. Yeah, and looks like they're going to come in again. A last second hit, a boom does miss, a hunter does land, and the boomer gets popped. All that's left is a charge, but I believe they're going to save everything for their hit right now. Um, that first hit, it's kind of one of those risk-reward hits. If you can pull it off right, you can get a really good separation charge out into the field and still manage to have another hit before they make it to the elevator, but they weren't able to quite pull it off. So uh, the survivors right now... Uh, need to be careful of this death charge because if Green Bubble Tea can get a death charge, that is going to be great for them. That might give them the opportunity to make some points back on this map. Oh, oh, the Spoker Charger went in. Sorry, Spoker Jockey went in. Charger completely this time the charge. The survivors weren't even anywhere close to being out in range for that. Yeah, they, he, he had nothing. He tried to go just in case one of the survivors decided to mistakenly go forward and, and run into it inadvertently, but they did not land anything. So the charger charged off the ledge, is going to get a despawn, and is now going to come in for the next hit. Um, but they need to get some serious damage before tank. The tank spawns at 73%, and all of the damage uh, in the world is going to help them pull off a wipe here because I think this is a difficult place to get a tank wipe, even with the water slowdown. Yeah, I mean, the 73% tank is one that's probably going to trigger, like, further up. I think they might even have to make their way out of this current, um, building section of the mill here. But there's a proxy boot at the front, with a hunter and jockey coming from the back. 
charging and landing at the front as well. Jockey getting dead stopped. Hunter was already cleared. And Nick is taking it one pound before then getting cleared. Um, great damage mitigation actually from the survivors. They're going to be easily even a try cap there. Yeah, and if they can push forward quickly right now while clearing the commons on each other, they might be able to get this tank to spawn. I'm not sure their current progress, but they need to get to 73% to get this tank. Um, they might push all the way back uh, to fight this tank, or they might play up here by this ramp. I'm not sure. I'm actually curious to see what they decide to do. But if they try to push back, they're going to have to be careful of the SI trying to slow them down before the tank is able to get in. So that's going to be a dangerous thing they're going to have to worry about. The SI is up right now. We've got a Boomer Jockey Spitter Smoker, so we've got a very dirty 2-2. Two -two. Um, they might be able to pull off something, but no, the boom gets popped. The SI is spawned up right now. They have the Jockey and the Smoker trying to go in right now. There's a Jockey on a Nick, but that's probably going to get cleared right away. But he's stuck in Spit. He's going to take a good amount of damage. Uh, Nick actually took a good amount of damage from that free spit, so they actually managed to pull off a decent amount of chip with a three, uh, three SI up, so that wasn't too bad. We have a tank up in the hands of Ahab himself, and how is he going to handle this tank? Is he going to um, rock them into next Tuesday, or is he going to sink himself? Let's just see. And the survivors are actually staying forward right now. This is interesting. They are getting a little bit of chip on this tank, and the tank is running away currently. So the survivors are going to play it up in this area. This is, you know, this could be a risky area, but you don't really have many options right now. Um, the tank has uh, the advantage of the survivors being slowed down by the water, so that could work in their favor. But it, honestly, if, if this team, Fat Kids, they shut down all the SI, they're not even going to matter anyway. And here comes the charge on the Nick, charging forward. Here comes the rock. It does nice land rock. on a Rochelle. Very good rock. And the charge is still going on to Nick. This might be an end cap. It is an end cap. And a rock comes in, gets skeeted right away. So far, so good. Actually, uh, that rock landed on Rochelle. Yes, it yeah. landed on Rochelle. And he's trying again. I mean, he's landing two good rocks so far. Um, that one was a little bit too. Uh, yeah, that one was kind of nowhere land. But so far, so good. I mean, Coach and Elvis are the health bonus left for uh, the fat kids. So if they can continue to play a decent rock tank and land some hits onto Coach and Ellis, they might be doing very well for themselves on this map. But they need to pull off a wipe, period, if they want to get some points back. There's a charger coming up ahead, and it goes on Nick as well. Oh, and a rock a landed onto Ellis also, and a good smoke coming out, causing distraction. This is going to be in cop onto Nick again. This is going to be black and white situation for Nick, so he needs to be careful. So good job by the tank landing a rock during that distraction onto Ellis, and the smoker and the jockey going in for a good enough distraction for this charge to get an in cap onto Nick. If they can do that again, they might be able to kill Nick. It's possible, and Nick is still hanging around in that corner, even though he wasn't able to respond to the charger when hiding there. So this, uh, this tank right now, uh, still on first pass at 35%, being played by Ahab. They need to get another rock. They've got another, wow. oh, the yeah, rock. Yeah. Tank actually lands another rock onto Ellis. Great work, not even needing to rely on its SI. A smoke coming in, trying to get something for the tank. But the survivors getting the clear and hugging this wall. They do not want to expose themselves to these rocks right now because the tank is doing a great job of landing them without support. So we've got no pills left. Ellis has eaten two rocks and is low HP right now, very slow. And the tank is still having, uh, how much HP? 60%, 58%. So this could still be a wipe, but the survivors are actually getting desperate for ammo, I think. They're pushing into this little hut. That could be dangerous for the survivors. The infected need to get in right now. No, the boom misses! Unfortunate, but the jockey does land onto Rochelle, getting separation in the front, does get cleared. But here comes the charge, getting into a charge onto Rochelle. Will the tank be able to land a rock off of that? Uh, misses unfortunately but the tank is gonna get the double punch jumps in and gets a double punch on the two survivors is now chasing after nick nick needs Open to run fell. away because he's black and white but no the tank drops down and gets a punch onto the fat nintendo nerd and is now running all over the place getting an in cap onto fat nintendo or <laughs> fat nintendo dogs world champion a hunter coming out onto nick possibly gonna be another in cap the hunter lands doesn't get the in cap but the tank is gonna get this rock and get the kill on to Nick. This is going to be a wipe for sure. A great Absolutely. charge a and double smoke. To finish it Woo. off. Well, so much going kick. on right now. I am running out of breath. I cannot talk enough to explain all of the chaos going on right now. But the survivors put themselves into a dirty, dirty, spooky situation. And the infected capitalized perfectly. It did, yeah, I mean, they were one actually doing too badly in terms of damaging the tank when he was playing rocks. But... They got impatient and they realized that when they were eating rocks, they thought, sorry, we have to go get ammo and move forward. And that's actually when they gave the tag a complete advantage as well as the SI support. They just allowed them to mop up and finish up. 
Yeah, the survivors didn't have much of a choice there. I mean, they were they were running out of HP, they were running out of ammo, so really all that they could do is try to get some ammo and push forward for points. They knew what their situation looked like, and it was looking like the infected were going to get the wipe, which they ultimately got. But the survivors made a couple points by pushing forward. They now have 1,700 points even on the scoreboard. Um, Green Bubble Tea has 323. They are going to need to do some work on this map to to get any kind of comeback in the, in the maps to follow. But if history continues to repeat itself, we might see some ridiculous plays from Team Fat Kids. Because on a map one and map two, they've gotten some ridiculous plays that have ended up on a premature wipe onto Green Bubble Tea. So here we go then. Jockey charges Smoker and Boomer. The ultimate separation lineup. What do Fat Kids plan on doing with this attack? It looks like they're actually preparing to, to go in the game field. Yeah, it looks like they don't want to try to gamble with the, the early hit. They want to try their best to get a good separation hit in this cane field because this cane field can give you really good results when it comes to getting separation and damage. So they're going to put all of their money on this hit and then save for the elevator. Um, this is a good decision. They want to maximize damage, so they're going to need to utilize this to their advantage to get the separation, get the spooky, uh, sneaky attacks. And <laughs> oh. looks like the Team Fat Kids are illustrating what they're going to be doing. They're going to be attacking in the field. They have given Green Bubble Tea what their plan is. This might not be good. This, this could be devastating moves. for the Infect. Watch out. Reloading. Wow. <laughs> well, they told them they were given fair warning. And Coach is, sorry, I think it was Ellis who was probably getting pulled by the smoker. And then getting jockey. Grimm against the proxy. Reloading. And Ellis again catching everything. He's just getting charged in the back as well. Yeah, everything going on on Ellis, but unfortunately, everything's also getting oh, cleared. No, we got a good separation pull on a Nick in the front. They need to hurry up and clear that, or else that's going to be a lot of chip on a Nick. Okay, fortunately, they got the clear just in time before it was too much damage, so they didn't take nearly as much damage as what they could have taken, so that is very good for Green Bubble Tea. They need to get to this elevator right now before Infected can get a last-second hit, and then they need to make sure they don't get Death Charge. We see Hunter coming in for a last-second pounce, but gets killed. No, actually, it's still pouncing around. I'm sorry. This Hunter is just distracting. Finally lands, but gets cleared instantly. This Boomer's going to try to land as well, I think. Looks like it's trying to spawn behind this little shack, but is not. The Jockey coming in, trying to get something spooky, but gets killed instantly as well. And the Boomer gets popped. So now we just have the Charger saving itself for the Death Charge. Let's see if they can pull off something amazing and get a crazy Death Charge onto Green Bubble. It's, it, it could happen, although Box has got a smoker, so it's probably the best SI to help with the Charger. They haven't got their other spawns up yet, and if Green Bubble Tea go quickly, they could do something. Yes, it's, and Rochelle's there. The Charger not actually oh, aiming for no. Death Charge. Rochelle's still getting pulled by the burning barrel. That was an extremely close situation for Green Bubble Tea. Rochelle was exposed, but fortunately the Charger missed. So Green Bubble Tea, I think, getting incredibly lucky there. They put themselves into an uncomfortable position, but somehow survived the death charge of doom. So good for Green Bubble Tea. They still are maintaining a very strong health bonus right now, and they're pushing forward very confident right now. They need to maintain this during this tank fight, because if they can wipe, or, uh, wipe the floor with this tank and maintain a solid health bonus, they could get some, uh, some much-needed points back for this map three. Yeah, they need to make for safe from, from this map with bonus. Um, because anything to happen in map 4, that alone can give some hope back to the team that needs to come back. And then Jockey comes in before any of his SI are even ready, gets M2'd and shot to death instantly. We've got a Charger and a Smoker pre-spawn in the front. The Smoker is very, very chipped. They, the survivors should be able to make sure we're going to attack. The charge comes in, lands on Zayna, but gets cleared instantly, and the spit comes in. Zayna might take a lot of damage here. She does. Zayna takes a good amount of damage. Um, that spit was a little bit delayed with that charge, but it still worked out in favor of Team Fat Kids. That was a lot of spit damage. And we got some uh, interesting binds being thrown out in the uh, <laughs> Oh, chat. no, we're seeing bind spam going on. That is spooky for everybody. And a pause. No way. This boomer is spawned up into this window by LB on Team Fat Kids. Um, I think the survivors probably see this boomer right now and are just ready to flick shot it. Um, this boomer might be uh, slayed very easily right now. Nice tactical pause. I'm not. Who paused that? 
I wish I could see, but uh, hold on a second. Let's see if I yeah, can... I can't either. I can't even scroll up right now. So this boomer is going to need to spam his left click if he wants to land this boom, because I'm sure there's at least two survivors that see this boomer spawned up in this window, and they are determined to get the pop, because they do not want to get boomed. The tank is up right now. I'm not sure who has the tank. Hopefully it's not the guy that crashed, or else that would not be very good. Um, but the survivors need to pop this boom and put themselves into a good position. Otherwise, this tank might be able to commit with this boom if this boom lands. No, the guy who, who disconnected it, he didn't have the boomer, but um, I, I still wasn't so great for the other side because that boom is going to be a wasted spawn, and that's just before the tank as well. Oh no, it looks like Steam is down, so the, the uh, Fat Nintendogs world champion might not be able to get in right away. So this might be a long pause. Holy moly, this could be very bad. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to take a restroom break. So hopefully Steam comes back up relatively soon so we can continue this game. Yeah. Actually, I mean, he might be able to reconnect if he, he has the IP. No, even then he wouldn't be able to reconnect. He would say unable to like authenticate Steam something. Okay. So while uh, Steam is down and Kyoto is going for a restroom break, um, as things currently stand, the points are 1,700 to 723. So uh, Green Bubble Tea, as things stand right now, almost 1,000 points behind, uh, halfway through map three, with only two maps remaining. Um, they've got solid bonus, actually, still on them heading into this tank, but it's a late tank, and it's not an easy one to survive either. Um, so... This is really desperate times now for Green Bubble Tea. And, uh, fiance asking for, uh, Kilito to come sub. But, uh, I don't really think that's allowed in this particular instance. And, yeah, this... I think the Steam servers are actually down at the moment due to routine maintenance, apparently. That's something I'm seeing now is one of the reasons. So yeah, this is going to be a lengthy pause, I think. And if um, anyone else is watching and keeping interest in the Mav War tournament, um, Punisher is your guy to speak to. In case you would like more information, there is of course a website and a Steam group devoted to the tournament, and uh, also to keep updates on the other semi-final, which will be, I don't know when that will happen, but I assume it will be sometime this week, and between the other two teams, we will both be fighting for a slot in the grand final to face whoever is the victor in this match. And Steam is still dead, isn't it? It sure is. Oh yeah. And it looks like I'm going to have to sub for this team. <laughs> I think I think somebody was joking, saying I should uh, ring. Is that correct? Well, if that I mean, is the case, then we will surely win. Oh, you did it once before with um, the infamous three v four match. <laughs> yeah. The 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 match that went down in history forever. Oh, Steam's coming back up. Woo! Oh, goody. But I think there might be a problem if I am not mistaken that. Uh, Princess might not be able to rejoin due to that Steam downness. Because I think when Steam has the downs, it causes issues with rejoining servers. He's loading the game back up from what I can see, so... Well, let's find it. out. Because if he can't load back into the server, that's going to prove very problematic because they might have to replay this entire round. So this should be interesting. Well, he's got the game loaded up, but I can't see him actually connecting to the server, so... Oh, Does it no. sound good? Yeah, I mean, if they have to replay this this 
portion of the round oh. for Green Bubble oh. Tea. Oh. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It worked. Thank you, Lord Gaben. We are not able are having to restart and my shit is all glitched right now. So is mine. I'm oh my god, I can't see anything. I got the chat box open and I can't close it. <laughs> I've got the chat box open and I've got the choose side open. So <laughs> I've got a bunch of crap blocking the middle of my screen right now, and I'm stuck in a first-person view. So this is great. This is exactly what we I need for the tank fight. I'm going to be... I don't even know whose point of view I am I'm, currently in. I'm stuck on Lucky Dog's first-person view. Oh, well. my <laughs> God. This is awful. And now we've got Fat Kids LB disconnecting. What is the meaning of this? Oh, here he comes back. Okay. okay. Momentary, momentary pause. Well, actually, I can still, um, I can get free view, but I can't just, I can't move it around because I'm still stuck in chat. Oh, I can change my first person. Oh, I can still do all the, okay, I can still, wait, if I do third person, or if I do free spec, I can't change my camera angle. So I'm all, I can only really do third person or first person, so, okay. Um, I'm gonna spectate Lucky Dog, I guess. Or are you already? I don't even. This is gonna be difficult. Okay, so the tank is now committing in. Um, the survivor. The tank's actually very close, going for a rock at uh, close proximity. Uh, now finally committing. The survivors need to be careful here with this water slowdown. A punch coming out on the lucky dog, aka Rochelle. A, a smoke and a, and a charge, capitalizing on a separated survivor in the front and a jockey landing onto Nick. There's two cap survivors right now with a charger running around, getting punches onto Rochelle. This might end up being a wipe. Uh, they need to get a hurry and clear on Rush uh, who is this? Nick is jockeyed way up ahead, gets incapped, and this charger is still chasing after Michelle. There Michelle is, is going for points. And jockey, charger, and smoker in tow as well as the tank. Oh, I was expecting the tank from third person, and the tank wasn't even getting <laughs> shot that much as soon as the SI sport came in. It was like the survivors were completely confused, didn't know what to do. Rochelle getting stumbled in the air, there's a jockey going through the window to meet her. She gets uh, the dead stop. She's going in the room to tackle the SF. The smoke is there. Oh gets the my throw. goodness. Oh, we can lucky make it. Lucky dog is going to make it to the safe room. He gets in. He closes <laughs> the door. Wow, impressive work by Lucky Dog 32. Killing all of the SI that was trying to kill him. He makes it into the safe room, getting the only points for his team as his team got wiped during that tank. But that, the, those points are not going to be enough. I mean, we're still seeing a huge point spread coming out. Um, and as soon as this map changes, we'll be able to see the full extent of what that difference is. But, uh, you know, Fat Kids, once again, shutting down Green Bubble Tea, getting a great, great wipe. Well, almost wipe on the survivors. I can see comments in chat saying that'll be in a frag video. <laughs> it might well be if there's something <laughs> yeah, devoted absolutely. to Mavlo Tournament. But yeah, Lucky Dog, well, he didn't really have any other choice. I mean, his, his guys were sort of like going down really fast. Um, he couldn't clear the last one quick enough with a shotgun. So he, he had no choice but made the distance. I mean, it, it's possible on this map and others. I mean, I've done it a few times myself before. And he makes it with permanent health as well. So there's going to be a little bit of a profit to get from that. Yeah, and, and map four is just a huge, 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 huge comeback map because if you've got an early tank and you can manage to get a wipe on uh, with tank and then come back on survivors and ace this tank, I mean, the rest of the map is just easy breezy as long as you can avoid taking a ton of damage from this tank. And then you can make it with plenty of health bonus and make a ton of points back. I mean, it is entirely possible and honestly, probably the last hope for green bubble tea at this point because we're seeing a score of 1700 to 833. So we're talking, you know, 900 points of difference here. But this map is the one map to rule them all. If you can get an early tank wipe, or early tank wipe and survive you're going to be doing good going into the finale so you know this is this is make it or break it time green bubble team needs to bring their a game on this map um, and make the comeback now or else they do not stand a chance of coming back and finishing the game off and winning yeah i mean map four this is had a notorious history um back in the days of good fogel when it used to be worth the vanilla distance and and actual vanilla health bonus back then, 700 distance, 1400 max bonus. I was just so, so dominated by tanks trying to land cars. The survivors all huddle on the roof, and that still is the case, but it's just not as much of a scene uh, gore lines uh, associated with this map as it used to be.
Would you have a charge of pre-spawn? A meow meow pre-spawning your charge. She's trying to be really um, devious here. <laughs> Trying to be really spooky, I suppose, with this pre-spawn. They they definitely don't want to go over there with that charger spawn. That is damn for sure. But um, I don't necessarily agree with this. They're going to absolutely try to avoid that charger. So they're going to keep as much distance as possible so it gets chipped uh, a ton before it commits. So this, here comes the survivors. They're pushing out. Charge coming in from downtown. It actually lands on somebody. Will this spit be able to get any damage? And it does. Beyonce had a double get up, so it took a little bit of damage. And the jockey landed on a survivor and got that survivor into that spit as well so a decent little spread on to team fat kids before this tank so that you know it could have been much worse considering they pre-spawn their charger absolutely yeah i mean the hunter and the charger surprisingly went for the exact same target and capped him at the exact same time but obviously the charger being the bigger guy will get first right simply because he's too big for the hunter to handle we got the chuck got a smoker they will trigger the alarm car Rochelle, oh my god, well. there is no way they're going to survive this alarm car. That hunter lands on for a bit, a little bit of damage. But they need to be careful right now. There's a double and a great charge forward onto Beyonce into a car. That's a good separation charge, doing a good amount of damage to Nick while there's two boomed and in a car alarm hit. And Beyonce remains taking damage from these uh, common infected, trying to kill him. That was a good amount of damage. Now the tank is finally up. That was great pre tank chip. And now the tank is in the hands of Lucky Dog. Let's see if Lucky Dog can pull off a miraculous wipe with some cars. Lucky Dog has proven to be a strong tank in the past in this tournament, so he stands all the or all the all the chances in the world of pulling off something fantastic. There he goes with the first car. Uh, he's actually just getting a position better. He's trying to curve this one. That's going to be an easy car hype if we can get it. Oh, he needs to angle it better. There it goes. He's got uh, LB down there. Trice, end caps. Uh, got a very commanding position now. He just needs to be a little bit careful with his uh, making sure he doesn't absorb too much chip. Trying to curve those rocks around the car. Yeah, he needs to be very careful right now. He does have a car in cap onto Rochelle, but if he commits too much right now, he's going to take up too much damage. So he's doing a good job hiding behind this car, waiting for his SI to come available. And they are coming up now. we got a Boomer Jockey Charger, a great move coming on to Dallas Survivor, and a car going under the roof, almost hitting Coach. Very nice hit. And the tank is moving in with a Jockey, trying to get this car to land. And the car lands onto Ellis. Great in cap. And the pause. Oh, no. <laughs> Green Bubble T. Ahab um, disconnecting. But the tank is in a strong position right now. We see two survivors in cap by a car. Uh, Rochelle and Ellis, both in capped. And we still have a boom up somehow, uh, hiding inside of a building, and a jockey with a lot of damage, and a charger. So currently as it stands, this tank stands a great chance of getting the wipe. Because this tank still has a lot of HP with two in caps already. Yeah, I mean, Meow Meow is a jockey. She's actually got lowish health in the yellow for her jockey, so she's got to be careful she doesn't put herself in view of Rochelle, who is actually down on, on the street. Um, maybe you might be able to get the pistol clear, but I can't see from this angle as I'm actually first person specking Lucky Dog's tank. Um, it's just really Nick um, who Lucky Dog has to focus on now, and Nick's actually busy shooting the crash charger who's on the roof behind him. Oh, is this is this jockey about to land on somebody's head, or is he already? I on think he already is. He's already on someone's head. Yeah. He's on oh wow! Head. Yeah, I'm looking at so it right now. I'm at a weird angle. So this actually could be the end for the survivors, unless Rochelle can get the clear on to. I think this is Coach. Oh, and we're back up. Oh, this jockey is pulling uh, Coach away. This might be an easy in cap. No, the oh, no, comes the in proxy. and the jockey off. That is not good. He is boomed out, so the tank should be able to get in here and make short work of Coach. But if he's not careful, Beyonce, the only other survivor up, might be able to get a pick up uh, onto one of the down survivors before the tank makes it back. So the tank needs to be careful right now. It looks like Beyonce is going for chip rather than a pick up and actually moving forward for points. Um, there is one survivor already dead. 100 now coming in for the kill and does land on Nick. So that is exactly what we were talking about. Impressive wipe by Lucky Dog and his team. That was an early tank wipe. So if they can play strong as Survivor right now, they can make it through this map with a huge, huge health bonus. Well, that's exactly what they need. They needed a quick wipe. They didn't score many distance points from the other team. And now, it's now or never. I mean, you can't really bank on the finale as a, as a map for sort of comebacks in any sort of campaign that you play, so it's, it's got to be now. It has to be now. This is Green Bubble T's last legitimate chance. 
Yeah, they need to make all their points back. I don't think they're going to get enough points to put themselves ahead of the fat kids, but they should at least be able to get themselves close enough to do uh, some miraculous comeback on the finale. So even if they can pull off something great here, they still need to bring their A game to the excuse me the finale as well because they're going to want to get an early wipe on finale as well. Seems like so, um, wow. fat kids actually might have to do a bit of specking out to make sure um, their fourth player actually gets a tank, the one who's like, oh, the tank. Yep, they're going to have to do some juggling around here to make sure they get the appropriate tank in the right hands. Um, and this this is going to be it. I mean, fat kids right now need to get a wipe if they if they want to stop Green Bubble Tea from making a comeback. So this tank is, is going to be crucial. They need to be able to get some good in caps with these cars like Lucky Dog was able to do. Otherwise, these survivors are going to make short work of this tank and they're going to push forward and get into that safe room with a ton of health bonus. Yeah. Although, honestly, if I were the SIO, I would just go through the first attack and then try spec out because it would be, it'd be delaying the game a lot more and actually probably getting different spawns than what the other SI team had. Yeah, I mean, the tank doesn't spawn right, right away, so they have all the opportunity in the world to get this quick hit and then spec, which I agree with you. They, they probably should uh, opt to do that rather than try to do it right now. So, we're actually just waiting on uh, x to to ready up if he's around, and uh, there we go. I'm going live now. This is, this is crucial dire stuff for um, Team uh, Green Bubble Tea. What are they going to do? And that is, I, there's some break dancing going on in the safe room, and I think some decision making happening um, as to whether or not they can spec. It looks like one of the infected did spec, two of them have spec, so they're going to do the spec swapping right now. Um, so that's fine. Uh, we will have to delay a little bit, so the survivors are uh, being very generous. They're going to wait for them to get their spawns um, so that they can give the tank to the appropriate person. Uh, and it looks like I think x -Buy is going to use his Reloading. power of exploits to give um, a certain individual the tank. Um, if you're not aware of what an exploit is, it's basically a cheat. Um, and x -Buy is the master of the cheats. Um, he comes out with new cheats all of the time. Um, he, he's, he's kind of the lord of cheat Reloading. codes. And he, if you, if you, honestly, if you want to win... If M2s are not enough for you, you want to resort to exploits to give you the upper hand on winning games. So if, if, if you're looking for something a bit more, uh, you know, more strong than an M2 or maybe even a Skeet, please contact x for all your exploit needs. And is that the final ready? Do, no, we're still juggling. We're still juggling trying to get the right tank, apparently. Yeah. I actually tried doing it myself as well, but um, LB's particular name and characters doesn't really allow us to do that. It was trying to copy-paste it, but it just wouldn't let me do it. I think that uh, particular font that he's using, it just doesn't... it's not going through. Oh my god, Xbox, you sound yeah. like a robot. Oh, finally confirmed you are not human. You are definitely <laughs> a robot. Yeah, I, I should have copy basting it too as well. It's, it's, his name just isn't allow us. It, it's basically give tank proof, unfortunately. Apparently. And it looks like we're finally done with the juggling. The survivors are going to bait a little bit. We do have a, uh, a hunter and a jockey up above on the roof, pre spawned, ready to go, distracting the survivors from above. We do not have a pre spawn charger like Meow Meow. Survivors pushing. Oh, the jockey gets a separated jockey on a survivor in the front. The charger misses, but the hunter does land, getting a lot of damage. They need to get a clear on to Nick. Nick took a ton of damage, and now this the charger is getting punches system. onto Rochelle. Ooh, wow, what happened? That attack did a lot of damage. That sneaky jockey just went behind all of them and took Ellis back into the safe room. They couldn't clear him enough. That just opened them up for the rest of attack with a charger also harassing everyone else. That and then is not what Green uh, that's not what Green Bubble Team wanted at all. I mean, that first it was devastating. 
and they still have to fight the tank, and we need them to beat the tank if we want to see them get some serious points back. But if, if they continue on the road they're down right now, I think this tank is going to get the wipe on them. Well, as LV tries to, he's going to be in possession of the same car along as soon as the tank oh, comes no. up. That is not good. The tank is still far away, but the tank might be able to make some use of that car alarm. Uh, he might be able to capitalize on this common infected. We still do. Oh no, a charge going out to Nick. Charging him against the wall. That might be an in cap if that is not cleared right away. Almost an in cap. No, but here comes Commons. The Commons get an in cap on Nick, but the tank is coming in with a car. No, that is not good. No, oh, the car no. landed on to Zayna. Coach gets in cap by a moon car. Oh no, this is not good. If they need to get Zayna up right away, they do. But we still have an in-cap survivor down below with common infected pouring in from that alarm car. And Zay or Ahab, Nick is now dead. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe. And the smoke is trying to pull Lucky Dog as well. And Lucky actually almost caught the same car as Coach did on the on the rebound. And uh, yeah, Lucky's been caught by the smoke now. There's just two survivors making their way as soon as they can. Jockey game, dead stop though, and shut down. That coach is, is just making a run for it. Can Coach, uh, can Zayna do a lucky dog from the last map? <laughs> they can only hope for that, and even if they do, they're still not going to get enough points back. Um, things did not go Green Bubble Team's way on this map. Um, fat Kid's continuing to show uh, extremely <laughs> strong. <laughs> do the lucky dog. No is that one. the new hip, uh, to hip hop up. dance that all the cool kids are doing nowadays? Ooh, boy. <laughs> Boomer's retirement does catch up to Coach and Smoker as well. I don't know how this is going on the top of the stairs. Oh my goodness, that that that's that's all she wrote. I mean, we're playing finale, but Green Bubble Tea is in not a position at all to make a comeback on this finale. So that is gonna be that's gonna be it for this match, actually. Kudos to that Boomer, so committed, <laughs> just completely catching up to Coach. Oh, oh, wow. You know, Fat Kids, they are just continuing to be extremely strong in this matchup. They There's 500 points, or no, 800 points on the board that is separating the Fat Kids from Green Bubble Tea. And that's, there's nothing, I, you know, aside from making it into the boat with a perfect health bonus, I don't think that Green Bubble Tea stands a chance of making a comeback here. I don't think so either. And uh, poor Lucky Dog, he's actually... Uh, he was playing in the TFBG tournament as well and um, lost his team's uh, semi-final match as well. And in this, he's also looking like he's going to taste defeat here. So he's got a rather harrowing couple of days in tournaments, so lucky dog. But uh, he's played he's played pretty damn well and played valiantly less. So uh, got to give him credit for that. Absolutely. He's proven to be a strong player as well as the rest of his team. Um, but in Left 4 Dead, it's not about the individual, it's about the team as a whole. So if the team as a whole cannot be strong, they will not succeed, regardless of whether or not you have a, a very strong player on your team. So the Fat Kids, they, they just, a lot of mistakes were made. They were not on their A game today, and the Fat Kids were on their A game today because of all the carbo loading. So they are winning right now, coming to the final. Uh, we got... We got zombies outside. We got a spitter jocker, boomer, and a hunter. This is going to be super spooky for the survivor. Oh, the boomer gets popped instantly. The hunter gets M2'd and then killed by a melee weapon. And the jockey is trying to get in, but gets M2'd as well. Who is this? Nick. Nick, the fat LB guy. He just slayed everything right with his M2 and his melee weapon. Wowzers. Well, now we know why they wanted to get the map four tank. I mean, he could play a tank like that and get the M2s to survive. No wonder he should well be MVP. <laughs> Absolutely, M2, a critical component in this game if you want to succeed. And LB showing the infected what is up, landing those dank M2s. Uh, the infected team, Green Bubble Team, needs to land some serious hits right now. They should, they need to aim to wipe That's this team even if they can't win. Oh my god, a tactical nuke has been deployed. Explosions everywhere. And now we've got a spinner. Landing onto a hunted survivor, but he gets out just in time. Ellis not taking a whole lot of damage and nothing else really going on except for a solo boom onto uh, Nick. But they're going to make short work of this common infected horde coming after Nick because they are very, very strong and they are good at killing the common infected. These infected hits need to be precise because right now on the scoreboard, we two, two, 
If we see two zeros on Ahab and Zayna, no points on the board for that. Ironically, Ellis and Beyonce, who does pay a lot of attention to her behind, actually had no idea that a charge was sneaking up behind her and completely eating that charge. But we have an attack coming up now. And I'm actually getting skeeted and a charge of missing. The spits are just trying to talk. Dear luck and just uh, <laughs> aiming for the sky. Reloading. But they are desperately pushing in with their infected, trying to land something. But the fat kids are just so fat, and they are just killing everything in sight. They do not stand a chance. We see a tank up in the hand of Lucky Dog 32 again. We might see some great car play by Lucky Dog, which is what the infected team want. This is their only opportunity right now to get a wipe on the survivors, and that is going to be very difficult considering the amount of health they currently have. Yeah, but I mean, in terms of tank, who gets to play it? I mean, couldn't have asked for more leeway than having it in the hands of Lucky. Absolutely, but he needs to be careful. The survivors have a bile bomb and a Molotov. That is extremely scary. The tank is pushing down into the water, trying to switch his position up to a different building to play some rock tank. Um, while a charger goes in, tries to get a charge, but causes enough of a distraction for this tank to switch roofs without taking very much damage. So the tank is on first pass still at 30% oh, down. Wait, he lands a rock! 100% range because of that rock! Great rock! And, again. and another one! Oh my goodness! Beyonce! Oh, this tank said, hey Beyonce, you wanted a ring on it. Here you go. Two rings for you. <laughs> Throwing those rocks. And now the tank is positioning himself in front of this hitable. Just hiding, throwing some more rocks, waiting for a good opportunity to land this car onto somebody. Here comes the infected. We've got a hunter pre-spawn above. Going to try to give this tank a good opportunity to land this car. But the tank is doing a good job of not taking too much damage. We've got a boom survivor outside. Oh, he needs to watch out. This car is coming in. Beautiful car onto Ellis, the boom survivor. And the tank should be able to get a kill on Beyonce right now with this car. Um, actually going for a rock, trying to get a rock onto a survivor. This tank probably should have tried to get the kill, but I think the survivor might die from common infected anyways. Oh, so the tank actually up a, gets a rock and a punch onto who is this? Was that Nick? Oh, and another hit onto Nick, but Nick is now pulled. He's going to steal the pull target, getting some more hits. Whoa. That is a death punch. Wow. Great death punch by Lucky Dog. This is surely going to be a wipe. We've got two dead survivors, and this tank has 53% HP. Dragon, this is amazing. Great job so far by Lucky Dog. Absolutely. And somehow, Rochelle still has 100 HP in all of this. Most of the teammates are dead. And, and Cody being boomed. Now she's getting boomed. That is the curse's jinx. I do apologize to Rochelle. It's getting caught. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh somehow that? that went over Nick's head. That went over Coach's head somehow. Can, that car was a pop fly moon car at, at short proximity landed on Rochelle and Rochelle's about to die from the, the horde. All that is left is Coach, a.k.a. Fat Box, and the tank's actually not even committing, just sitting back and going for some rock. Wow, great job by the infected. I, I cannot believe that Rochelle kept 100 HP for that long, and then the first time she gets hit is by a boom that sets up the car. And there's a charge going on Box. that's a death charge into the river. Wow. Wow, I impressive work by the infected team. Kudos to Lucky Dog, doing very good work with his tank. Um, choosing the right time to commit with his SI, getting an initial car uh, in cap onto Rochelle, and then managing to get onto the roof, getting a rock punch, and several other punches, getting the death punch onto Nick, and then getting a car onto uh, one of the other survivors that was common locked, and just, that, that, was, that was great work by the infected. Hey, what if we turn on the burner tank sign? Right. So yeah, meow meow, we'll just ask to be certain. This is a 600 distance map, this finale, but there's only one tank in the promo, so... <laughs> just gotta survive one tank and have good bonus with it, and this so they might just be able to... But it's running and, really and, late now. Yeah, and I feel on this map, this tank can go, is, is one of the two uh, different extremes. It is either an extremely successful tank with lots of car action going on, or it's an extreme failure where he tries to commit, get some cars, nothing lands, all SI are killed, and the tank is just slaughtered. So if they, if Green Bubble Tea can manage to slaughter this tank without getting any in-caps from this tank, they might be able to make it into this boat with a really strong health bonus. Yeah, well, we got a pitter, pitter, sorry, spitter, respawn actually, on that roof section to the right. Um, and we got 
getting picked actually completely. He could sense that she was there. Uh, a hunter landing a 14 damage pounce on a boom Rochelle and a jockey getting dead stop. She tries again actually with jockey landing with Rochelle though and she's getting escorted away and taking quite a bit of damage. Lucky actually is the one taking that damage. Yeah, the infected managed to pull out some last second damage with that boom separation and that jockey. Um, a lot of damage going on to Lucky Dog, but fortunately, Lucky Dog picked that spitter immediately. Oh no, we've got a charge, a double charge, going on to Zayna, also hitting Nick way into the back. Some more damage from a free charge, attacking by himself, Va. getting a good double with all this common uh, distraction. We might see a uh, 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 the, the infected move in with just three SI. A hunter spawned up in the back by the semi, starting to pounce in. I think they're going to go in right now, maybe try to go for a, a hunter and a spitter. Um, otherwise, I think maybe they just try to destroy and wait for their fourth spawn which is now up the boomer gets popped instantly the hunter coming in trying to land get a spit the hunter does land but the spitter goes over the survivor's over head get the jockey on coach and into the spit very briefly but i got a mick kill that previous attack though before that one we just watched i i held my breath for a slight second there because i thought the charger actually was going to trigger the car alarm but it was so close it was like a, a millimeter away from doing so so they were very lucky break they were survivors. very lucky or else that could have been a lot more damage than it already uh, has occurred so the survivors um, they haven't even hit the event yet and they've already taken a decent amount of damage onto two survivors um, and another hit is about to come in we've got a smoker already spawned up looking for a pull gets a pull onto Zayna and here comes the hunter landing onto Nick with the charger trailing in finally getting a good charge onto Ellis that is a good separation charge off to the side they finally get the clear before a lot of damage has come out but this boomer is coming in relentless scratching at Ellis and finally getting the proxy boom onto Ellis and this smoker is still alive trying to get a pull but gets killed by Nick but the survivors have taken a ton of damage before this tank you know I was hoping that the survivors were going to play strong but it's looking like at this rate that they're going to get wiped by this tank it's looking increasingly so yeah and they've already lost about 400 bonus I mean they, they can't afford to lose much more than this with the tank still to come it's it's looking incredibly bleak for them right now. But they need a super performance against this tank. It's, that's their only one remaining slight, slight hope they've got left. Yeah, and that's going to be very difficult. If they're taking this much damage with the SI, they might take even more with the tank. So they need to stop taking SI damage. The tank is now up in the hands of Fat Nintendogs World Champion, aka Ask Me Anything Princess or Ask Me Princess, Princess, whatever. Um, a good single boom coming out onto Ellis. The survivors are on the roof in a good position, but the tank is looking like it's going to hold back right now. Try to play some rock tank wall on first pass. He's going for a car now. A good car hit. It, this could be, oh no, too much power behind that punch. That car went flying over Ellis's head. That could have been dangerous because Ellis is boomed right now and could not There's see anything. There's still a boomer in the diner getting an arc over and getting Ellis. <laughs> oh no. And the boom's still alive. The boomer has gotten two booms so far and is now hiding by the ladder, waiting to get another boom. This boom being played by LB, wanting to get as many booms as possible. A hunter jumping in, landing on a boom survivor, Ellis, and a jockey separation, landing on the coach. This is not good. A lot of damage going on to coach right now. And a rock coming in and landing the in could need to boom, I guess a third boom. Oh, it's still insane. a third it's boom. Insane. Oh my oh. goodness, Dragon. This is not looking good for Green Bubble T. I. I think it's safe to say at this point, as long as Green Bubble Tea continues to eat attacks like they have been, there is no way they'll even make it to the boat. I actually think they're already below the bonus they needed to make to the boat and possibly clinch a surprise comeback win, so no, they can't do it. Wow, like a uh, smoke going on to Coach Momentarily. Oh no, another boom from below! Managed to get a boom on to Co or Ellis, and then he gets pounced! He's all by himself! Only oh, Rochelle can save him. He finally gets the clear, but now the tank is moving in onto the survivors. Coach needs to be careful. He gets punched way off of the edge, and the tank is committing. Gets another punch onto Ellis. That is an incap onto Ellis, and the tank is continuing to do work, getting another incapacitation moment. To, well, actually, not an incap yet, but he is moving it on neck with this car. He should just go in for the Izzy incap because there's trees right there. There he goes. He's getting a punch. Another punch. One more punch, and that is an incap. The tank still has a ton of HP, and right now there's a jockey survivor way out. And as it's come back, smoking to finish it oh, off. Oh, that is it. That is the wipe. Uh, beautiful Put wipe by Fat Kid. Oh, yeah. That's it. Wow. That lady has sung. <laughs> uh, 
Wow, uh, I mean, that's that's kind of what we predicted. With all of those SI hits being as su successful as they were, I we could not foresee them surviving this tank, and they did not. So the score right now is uh, 2,116 to 1,309. That is a solid, solid uh, 8 to 900 point difference in favor of the Fat Kids. So great work by the Fat Kids. They played an extremely strong match that game against uh, Green Bubble Team. Indeed, yeah, and commiserations to um, Lucky Dog and uh, Green Bubble Tea. I mean, they really did hold in there for as long as they can, but, I mean, at the end of the day, Left Dead 2 is a team game, and, you know, law of averages are in the equation there. You've got the, you've got better teamwork, you're more likely ones to succeed, and that's exactly what the case was with Fat Kids, so well done to them. Yeah, and all it takes is for one team to be on their A game and one team to be on their their you know their D game or F game, whatever you want to call it. Um, even if they would, under normal circumstances, be evenly matched, if one team is on their A game during the game, they're going to come out on top. And that's exactly what we saw. I mean, going into this match, I assumed that we were going to see a very close game because both teams have proved to be very strong competitors. But fat kids... They had the strongest of the strong M2s and Skeets, and they shut down everything and ended up coming out on top in this game. Yeah, well, I mean, that's exactly the sort of performance they should be putting in anyway it, it's in this uh, stage of the tournament with the knockouts at stake. And now they're heading into the grand final. They just you know, keep it going, if not ah. even build on it. Yes, that is absolutely right. So that means that the Fat Kids will be going to the final matchup um, between them and the other team that is also in the finals for all of the gold in this tournament. That will be the final game to decide the ultimate champion of this tournament. Green Bubble Tea will be going into the loser's bracket to compete for third place so they can still put themselves in a good position to be in a good placement in this tournament. Third place isn't too bad. That is not... Uh, something to, to frown upon that is still a good position to be in this tournament. Uh, but unfortunately, they could not come on top onto Fat Kids, and they will be moving on to the final round where they are going to compete head on with another team to win the gold medal. Yeah, and uh, obviously, we'll be looking forward to the match. But of course, before the grand final can happen, we've got to know what happens with the other semi final of the Malvoy tournament. And um, obviously, we'll probably hear from Punisher when exactly that's going to take place. But uh, if it can conjure up a as good as game or a closer game than what we've just seen, then by all means, you know, we all want to be there to see it. Definitely. And quickly, uh, I'd like to remind all of the viewers still here, make sure to cast your votes for your MVP of this game. Um, go to Mavoir's website. That's M-A-V-W-A-R dot C-O-M. Go there, cast your vote for who you thought did very well in this game. It doesn't matter which team it was for, losing or winning. Just cast your vote on, in your opinion, who did great work in this match. Do not forget, please go to Mavoir's website to vote for your MVP and for any other further matches down the road. Um, I think that pretty much wraps it up for tonight. Um, it was a very great game indeed, and thanks to everybody for tuning in and watching this intense matchup. Um, thanks to Dragon for co-casting uh, with me tonight because we almost didn't even have a co-caster available. Uh, and thanks for XBuy uh, for being our usual camera dude. Um, so, Dragon, I don't know if you have anything else to say. I mean, I'm pretty much good. Um, that was a good game, and that pretty much ties it up for us tonight. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it was a pleasure. So, custom side, you killed so I'm thankful as well to XBuy for providing the stream. And on one more note, I have been told by Punisher that the next semi-final match between Blue Dynamite and NCI will apparently be happening at 3 p.m. EST on Saturday, this Saturday. Ooh, beautiful. I love Saturday games. Those so are the best for. games for me. So you all folks better pencil that in your diaries. Make sure you are absolutely free and available with nothing else to do in your days or your lives at that particular point in time. Yeah, if you're working fun. on Saturday, you better call in sick or put in for a vacation day because if you do not show up for Saturday's game, you are going to be missing out on an extreme, intense, super crazy, spooky video game matchup. So be there or be square and join us again for match 14 this Saturday for the Mavwar tournament. Once again, thanks to everybody for showing up and please continue to support this tournament by showing up, watching and uh, submitting your uh, MVP suggestion for on the website for this tournament. So once again, this is Dragon and I, and I guess X by signing off 
of Ma uh, round 13 of the Mavoir tournament. 